Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, dear students around the world. Welcome to your new English YouTube channel and classes, English course level 1 A1, lesson 79. In today's lesson, we'll continue with our series of present continuous lesson 10 or part 10. By the end of this mini lesson 79, you'll have focused on known, learned, and practiced the following objective. Present continuous lesson 10 or part 10, we are going to practice sentences with WH words. The WH words we are going to use in today's lesson are what, where, and why with present continuous. Let's see. Let's see some examples of verbs in present continuous 10. The first question is, what are you doing? So this question is in the present continuous. How or why? Because we have R and we have verb plus ING. It means the action is happening now. So what are you doing now? So if you were right now or we don't write it, it's the same. So when you have this question, what are you doing? It means now. What are you doing? I am practicing my English with you. Can we say I practice my English with you? No, it's not correct. So if we have the question in the present continuous, we should answer in the present continuous. Let's practice with me this question. What are you doing? I am practicing my English with you. Let's go to the second slide. What are you watching on TV? I am watching the film Bad Boys. Let's repeat after me this question. What are you watching on TV? I am watching the film Bad Boys. Let's go to the next slide. What are you cooking? I am cooking a pizza. Let's repeat after me this question. What are you cooking? I am cooking a pizza. Let's go to the next slide. What are you eating? I am eating an ice cream. Let's repeat after me. What are you eating? I am eating an ice cream. <coughs> Sorry. Let's continue. What are you drinking? I am drinking Moroccan tea. Let's repeat after me. What are you drinking? I am drinking Moroccan tea. Let's go to the next slide. What are you reading? I am reading a play by Shakespeare. What are you reading? I am reading a play by Shakespeare. Shakespeare is a famous playwright. He writes plays or he wrote plays because he's dead. Let's go to the next slide. What are you studying? I am studying English. Let's repeat after me this question. What are you studying? I am studying English. Let's go to the next slide. Now we have question with why. Why are you studying English? I'm studying English because I need it for my job and it's an international language. So that's why I am studying English because I need it for my job and because it's an international language. Let's repeat after me this question and the answer, of course. Why are you studying English? 
I'm studying English because I need it for my job and it's an international language. Let's go to the next slide. Why are you listening to sad music? I'm listening to sad music because I'm very sad at the moment. Let's repeat after me the question and the answer. Why are you listening to sad music? I'm listening to sad music because I'm very sad at the moment. Let's go to the next slide. Why are you doing a lot of homework? I'm doing a lot of homework because I have an exam tomorrow. Let's repeat after me. Why are you doing a lot of homework? I am doing a lot of homework because I have an exam tomorrow. Let's go to the next slide. So in this slide, we have question and four answers and four possible answers. What are you doing now? Now I am watching the news on TV. Now I am listening to music. Now I am reading a short story. Now I am writing an email. So if we write now or we don't write it, it's the same. Because when we have am um, plus I, a verb plus ing, it means present continuous. When we have r and we have verb plus ing, it means present continuous, it means now. So if we write now or we don't write it, it's the same. Let's repeat after me these examples. What are you doing now? I am watching the, uh, the news on TV. I am listening to music. I am reading a short story. I am writing an email. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's go to the next slide. What am I doing now? So I am asking you what I am doing now. So what am I doing now? You're chatting to a friend. You're doing your homework. You're making your bed. You're playing computer games. Let's repeat after me these examples. What am I doing now? You're chatting to a friend. You're doing your homework. You're making your bed. You're playing computer games. Let's go to the next slide. What's he doing now? He's playing basketball. He's sweeping the floor. He's playing the piano. He's washing his hair. Let's repeat after me these examples. What's he doing now? He's playing basketball. He's sweeping the floor. He's playing the piano. He's washing his hair. Let's go to the next slide. What are you doing now? So here you, it means a group of people. We're having lunch. We're driving to work. We're painting the bedroom. We're going to the cinema. Let's repeat after me these examples. What are you doing now? You, as I said, as a group of people. You, you all. We're having lunch. We're driving to work. We're painting the bedroom. We're going to the cinema. Let's go to the next slide. What's she doing now? She's making Moroccan tea. She's singing a song. She's feeding her little son. She's cooking a meal. Let's repeat after me these examples. What's she doing now? She's making Moroccan tea. She's singing a song. She's feeding her little son. She's cooking a meal. Let's go to the next slide. What's she doing now? 
But now we are going to answer with the name of a person. Lisa is cleaning her teeth. Lubna is studying English grammar. Natalia is chatting to her friends. Sonia is washing the plates. Let's repeat after me these examples. What's she doing now? Lisa is cleaning her teeth. Lubna is studying English grammar. Natalia is chatting to her friends. And Sonia is washing the plates. Let's go to the next slide. What are you doing now? So as a group of people, we're having lunch. We're listening to music. We're sitting in the garden. We're visiting a museum. Let's repeat after me these examples. What are you doing now? We're having lunch. We're listening to music. We're sitting in the garden. We're visiting a museum. Let's go to the next slide. What are they doing now? They're hunting animals. They're fishing in the sea. They're going to the theater. They're buying a new car. Let's repeat after me these examples. What are they doing now? They're hunting animals. They're fishing in the sea. They're going to the theater. They're buying a new car. Let's go to the next slide. What are they doing now? We are going to give the names of men. David is buying vegetables. Robert is playing tennis. Steve is staying in a hotel. Tom is waiting for a bus. Let's repeat after me these examples. What are they doing now? David is buying vegetables. Robert is playing tennis. Steve is staying in a hotel. Tom is waiting for a bus. Let's go to the next slide. What are they doing now? So they means two persons. Bob and Chris. So it's not Chris. Some students pronounce a ch. No, in this word, so ch is pronounced k. Bob and Chris are playing hide and seek. James and Rosa are learning German. The students are writing a paragraph. The parents are driving to the park. Let's repeat after me these examples. What are they doing now? Bob and Chris are playing hide and seek. James and Rosa are learning German. The students are writing a paragraph. The students are driving to the park. Let's continue. Where are you going? So here we are going to start questions with where. Where are you going? So this question means now because we have R and verb plus ing. Verb to be in present simple plus verb plus ing. Where are you going? Now I am going to the zoo. Now I am going to the beach. Now I am going to the stadium. Now I am going to my friend's house. Let's repeat after me these examples. Where are you going? I'm going to the zoo. I'm going to the beach. I'm going to the stadium. I'm going to my friend's house. Let's go to the next slide. Where is he going? Now he's going to the mall. Now he's going to the supermarket. Now he's going to Madrid. Now he's going to the bakers to buy bread and sweets. Let's repeat after me these examples. Where's she going? Oh, sorry. Where's he going? He's going to the mall. He's going to the supermarket. He's going to Madrid. He's going to the bakers. Let's continue. 
Where is he going? Now we are going to answer with the person's name. Peter's going home. Harry's going to school. George is going to college. Donald's going to university. Let's repeat after me these examples. Where is he going? Peter's going home. Harry's going to school. George is going to college. Donald's going to university. Let's go to the next slide. Where's she going? She's going to the cinema now. She's going to, swim to the swimming pool now. She's going to India now. She's going to her mother's house now. Let's repeat after me these examples. Where's she going? She's going to the cinema. She's going to the swimming pool. She's going to India. She's going to her mother's house. Let's go to the next slide. Where's she going? Now we are going to answer with a person's name or a girl's name. Nada's going to the dentists. So dentists, it means the shop of the, the dentist or the office of the dentist. So when we have apostrophe S, it means the shop, the place, and not the person. So where's she going? Nada's going to the dentists. Raja's going to the local market. Angela's going to Cordoba. Cordoba is a city in Spain. Lilia's going to the florists. The shop where they sell flowers. Let's repeat after me these examples. Where's she going? Nada's going to the dentists. Raja's going to the local market. Angela's going to Cordoba. Lilia's going to the florists. Let's continue. That's the end of today's lesson 79. So until then, see you soon in lesson 80 on our two YouTube channels, House School Hassan and House College Hassan. Kindly subscribe, like our videos, and activate the bell and share our videos because I see that there is no interaction between me and you in the, on this channel. So please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to our channel to help us, to support us, to continue serving you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like for the video, subscribe to our channel and activate the bell to get new videos. Thank you. Good luck. And goodbye.